this video, I'm going to show you how you can do a cloud backup without duplicating your data. Now, no doubt you're familiar with Dropbox. The problem with systems like this, Dropbox and Google Drive and MSN's OneDrive, is that it requires data duplication in most cases, unless you move your files right to them. What I mean by that is that you have a folder on your computer where you have to put the files for them to be synced to the cloud. Now that may or may not be a problem. If you have lots of disk space, maybe you don't care. Um, or maybe you want to move your files to the Dropbox folder, but sometimes you don't. For instance, you have your pictures and so on. You might want to keep them in your pictures library and not move them into your Dropbox folder. Now the way around this to, is to use a different storage platform. And I suggest iDrive. With iDrive, you get five gigabytes for free and you can easily get two more gigabytes. So for a total of seven. Okay, so all you have to do is set up an account. If you go over to pricing, you can see the different ones you can get here, but we're just gonna go with the free. So we'll click on free here. And then put in your first name, last name, email, password, you have to put this identification in and create your account. Okay, so I'll create my account. Okay, so you can set up your own encryption key if you want, or you can use the default. I'm just going to use the default encryption key. For maximum security, you can set up your own. Okay, so here we are. Now, there, as it shows here, you can download the desktop software you have an app and here's the desktop software so we're going to run that in a second and you can log in and start your backup from there so you can drag and drop from your from your computer to your browser as well so it, you don't have to have files in multiple places on your computer you can do it all from within the software or drag it right into this space here okay so Let's install the software here. Okay, so now we'll log in to select what we want to back up. Okay, so now we can go through the tree. I'm going to unselect all of this here. And then I'll pick what I want to back up. And we'll go from there. Okay, so I let that backup finish, and then when we go inside, we can see what we selected here. Now it backs up the whole tree until you get down to where your backups are. Okay, so here we go. There's your thumbnails. Okay, so if we want to create a shortcut, we can right click on here, and we can create a shortcut. Now, if we go over here now, see where it says shortcuts? If we go in there, there's our shortcut to our file. So it gives you an easy way to organize your files. Let's go back to uh, backup over here. You can add more files and folders right up here. So you can you see upload file and upload folder. So you can do either way. You can create a new folder here as well and upload to within that folder just by going into it and then doing your upload files or folders. Okay, we have sync. This is sort of like Dropbox and all the others. You can turn on sync to and have a sync folder if you enable sync. Okay, so but you don't have to. That's up to you if you want to do it. Okay, and now also, if we go over to the right side here and click there, we can go over here and download the different apps. So you see that I got 0.5 of a gigabyte extra for downloading the Windows app. So any device you have, for instance, your Mac, your iPhone, Android. Okay, so I could download this and install it on my Android and log in, and then I'll get my other 0.5 gigabytes. Okay, so it's really simple to use. You can, up, you can schedule your backups to happen when you want, or you can back them up as you see fit. 
So let's open up the app again. Here's here we can restore if we needed to. If we go into restore. Okay, there's our files there. We have our scheduler, so we can schedule when we want our backups to happen. Our sync we've already talked about. Server backup, that's a, a separate part here that we won't use for our personal account. Okay, let's go back to the desktop for a second here, and you'll see that we have Remote Manager. Okay, so you can enable remote management just by setting it up in your application that you downloaded. Okay, another thing that's pretty cool is that you can go and you can back up your Facebook account. So you can you won't lose any of your Facebook pictures. You can back your photos and videos. You can back them up and keep them in iDrive as well, so you don't lose those if for some reason you lose your Facebook account. Okay, so as you can see, iDrive is simple to use and very powerful. Also, you don't have to use a sync folder, so you can back up directly to the cloud without using up any of your precious disk space.